Most Mandarin classes are taught like any other classes, in a classroom with a teacher, repetition, um, using visual stimuli, and so on. What we're doing is immersing the students in a narrative set in Beijing called The Lost Manuscript, focuses on a my mysterious book that has been missing for centuries and involves all sorts of intrigue and mystery and so on and takes them to several locations in Beijing, the Forbidden City, a tea house, um, and then finally a police interrogation where that, was, that turned out to be their final exam. The Mandarin Project is really an experiment at pedagogical innovation that opens a new chapter in Rensselaer's long history of bringing innovation into the classroom. The seed grant that funds the Mandarin Project has really allowed us to develop a research base for teaching languages in a totally different manner. At the heart of the project is the use of the medium of uh, games narratives to transport students into an alternate reality environment where success is attained by mastering material that we ultimately expect them to learn. The woman who is not only playing the teacher in the uh, class but was a teacher as well and was the person monitoring their progress said that in the eight-week period up leading up until the final interrogation they had learned more Chinese uh, faster and better than they had in a full semester anywhere else. The Emergent Reality Lab is uh, being built under a seed grant here at Rensselaer. It is a super cave where we will be eventually combining both virtual reality uh, that uh, in 3D with actual tables and chairs and props and there will be virtual agents which are AI controlled characters on screen as well as um, real people. Live actors, students, learners and mentors can interact with each other and with synthetic characters in a way that promotes student learning. As a former producer and writer for Star Trek The Next Generation, the holodeck has always been a dream of mine to see if we could actually do it in the real world. We're not there yet, but this is a really good first step.